Hi. Hello everyone. Today we will learn how to build an, uh, a mousetrap car. Very easy, very simple. Uh, you don't need any real parts except for this. Maybe this mousetrap you need to order online. But everything else you can pretty much get at your local 99 cent store, your local convenience store. Hot glue, piece of cardboard. I'm pretty sure everyone has some sort of Amazon box laying around. Some piece of cardboard. I got my piece of cardboard from a 99 cent store. I just asked them for some cardboard, but um, they usually give it to you for free, right? Uh, so I use the uh, for the body. I use a piece of cardboard, and oh, right. for the dowels, I just got barbecue skewers. You can pretty much find barbecue skewers anywhere. Uh, I'm gonna have to chop these skewers down, but. I found them also at my local 99 cent store. Um, they're really easy to find. Uh, you can know uh, these are hooks, right? But you don't really need hooks, and I'll show you that. Okay, so what I did here was pretty simple. I just cut out a piece of paper <laughs> and I rolled it up. That's it. Um, and then you can put the skewer in there, and that's pretty much your how your 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 dowel hole is gonna fit in there and spin ind independently right it's it's the it's a similar system to the hook you can just hot glue it to the bottom right it's actually i feel like it's better because then you wouldn't have the aerodynamic drag of the the tips pointing up you wouldn't have but i just used the hooks because i had them <laughs> why not right um yeah so now I'm going to show you guys how to build the rest of the car. Okay, so there's really no secret, like no amazing secret to building a mousetrap car. It's really simple. You're just using uh, the mousetrap, the mousetrap some, you know, energy, stored potential energy to convert that, you know, use it to convert it into kinetic, kinetic energy. And that's really how, if you can harness that mechanism, then you are able to propel your mousetrap forward, right? And here what I have done is that I've cut out wheels. I've roughly sketched out the, the wheels and kind of made them like a circle. You can always trim that off. Uh, I, didn't, I don't have a compass with me, but I tried to make it as perfect as possible. You can, you guys can, or you guys um, can print out like a circle and then, you know, sketch trace whatever right uh and then i just put it over here and i trace it and now i'll have two identical circles which i can because use I as left the most wheels of the tools at our last uh engineering club competition um i had to somehow manage to cut the dowels and i had to use a cleaver at home just really goes to show how you have to be resourceful and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to attach I drew where is approximate the the axis of rotation, where the wheel is going to be the center of rotation, and yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna attach the wheels to the dowels now. And right here is another thing you don't really need, but it's good to have. And you can replace this with any sort of material. Is what I used was a uh, zip tie. Uh, I kid you not, I got these for one dollar, and I mean they're cable ties, and um, they you can get these anywhere, but you can use a piece of cardboard like this and just cut it up and hot glue it onto here, and it's it will serve the same purpose, and you will know what I mean by that really soon. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, hot glue these on and attach the wheels and yeah wheels on axles everything's done the, the things are cut you just have to make sure that you cut the wheels better than me because i pretty much just rush um rough sketch everything right um one thing i can recommend is use um use a compass definitely use a compass it makes better circles and if you want to reduce friction you can i mean increase friction increase traction you can put balloons in and probably actually make it more smooth 
and the more you the closer you attach to the center of the circle the less bumpy it will be so that's another thing and yeah that's pretty much it now i'm going to increase the mechanical advantage by attaching this thing in here so we're gonna make it more of a so more of a distance speed car uh distance matchup matchup car all right everyone definitely the most epic matchup car <laughs> so what's going on in here is that i did not expect this part to be that hard especially with the part where i extended it uh it would definitely have been much easier if you just went with the um mousetrap arm that they give you but instead i had to be super special and i had to take it apart and make it make one my own so that was that was really something that alone took me 10 minutes 10 15 minutes but you you guys don't need to do that if you don't really want to um but yeah now i can pull it back pull this back without any trouble and I'll show you guys that in a moment all right everything's done